Hey kids, happy Read Across America week. I'm Olivia Fear with Good Morning Arizona, and this is Little Miss Spider by David Kirk. It's one of my favorites, and I hope that you will enjoy it as well. Little Miss Spider popped out of her egg, swinging down from a thread. She hung on by one leg. Watching brothers and sisters all scooting for cover, she dangled there wondering, where is my mother? Did she squeeze down a hole or dive underwater? Why won't she come out here and meet her new daughter? The animation is beautiful. She climbed to the tippy top of a tree, gazing out on the world, she sobbed, where could mom be? A beetle named Betty buzzed by this high perch. A child needs a mother, may I help you search? I don't know for sure, but I'll offer this clue if I were your mom. I'd be looking for you. What do you think of that? They flew through the trees, spying down from the sky, and asked all the butterflies fluttering by. But none of the insects they happened upon had any idea where her mother had gone. She then asked a small spider, as plump as a pig, have you seen my mom? She's like me, only big. The sly spider laughed as he gobbled his snack. Up there is a mother who's yellow and black. With a heart full of joy, she peered over the straw, but it wasn't her mother that Miss Spider saw. It was six hungry hatchlings and a goldfinch who cried, Your dinner is here, darling, so open up wide. Uh oh Before she could blink, she was whisked out of sight, and brave beetle Betty was hugging her tight. In her warm, cozy home, in the bark of a tree, the kind beetle asked, Won't you stay here with me? Then Miss Spider smiled and held Betty fast. I looked for my mom and I found you at last. For finding your mother, there's one certain test. You must look for the creature who loves you the best. And that is to me a very beautiful, very sweet story about family. And what really matters with family is being loved and loving someone and knowing that you're not alone. So whoever your family is, that's the person you can count on and you can share your stories with and share your life with and they'll root you on and take good care of you. So I hope you find books that you enjoy just as much as this one. And thanks so much for spending a little time with me today. Happy reading and happy birthday to the late, great Dr. Seuss.